Hey everybody, it's Andre with the Eaglesoft Field Guide here to bring you a just quick uh, video uh, for the release of Eaglesoft version 24.2.03. And I'm coming to you on December the 10th, uh, just days after the um, rollout of the software. Um, I have been using it for a while, beta testing it. Um, and been really excited with some of the features I want to show you. Um, not a lot of things, but some really good stuff under the, uh, you know, un under the covers. Uh, one of the best things is uh, it is the most stable software release to date. So awesome there. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show you the big takeaways. Just I want you guys to dig it on your own. But I'm going to open up an account. I'll open up this patient. Uh, let's close that out and let's just put in D2391. So that is a one surface posterior tooth. And I'm going to put in tooth number eight, which we all know is an anterior. When I hit tab, all right, and put in a surface. Uh, let's going to be that's going to be the incisal surface. Notice that it changed to an anterior. So the anterior to posterior tooth is solved guys if you ever was asked that question in the group about did when's eaglesoft going to do the anterior to posterior uh fix it's fixed stop asking for it you got it it's there it works perfectly i've been playing with it i'll show you how it's set up if you go into your code d2391 and let me just pull up my correct code here there's my one surface posterior and you go into the chart setup. Come on. Oh, of course, it's not going to let me do it because Zoom doesn't allow me to do it. But when you go into chart setup, you can actually pick the correct surfaces for the right, correct code. I'm not going to go too deep in there. I just wanted to quickly get this out to you guys so you saw it. Uh, but you can see that it works. I'll do another one. D2331. All right. And then let's put this on tooth number 18 and we get a DO. And notice that it changed to a posterior two surface. It works. Fantastic. Enough said on that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my personal list and I'm going to edit a person here. All right. And people are always asking, does the side panel open up now? Yes, it does. That's something that went away for a while, but now it's back. So I edit my patient and my preference window will open up when I open this window. And remember, we now have a third gender here as unknown. That will actually tie back to the new ADA 2024 form. So I'm going to go to the list, employers, edit my employer. And there we go. There's my blank ADA 2024 form. So you can see that the form is there. And I'll show you why that's important in the ADA 2024 form. Let me look at my open claims. I'm going to change this to the blank ADA 2024 form. I'll go to my change answer so you can see some of the new questions and answers on here. So the first question, last date of scaling and root planning. So we can actually put in the last date that there was scaling root planning done. So that is a new feature of the ADA, ADA 2024 form. When that is required, we'll start using that. Um, some insurance companies, I, I hear uh, rumors that uh, GIA and a couple others are requiring the ADA 2024 form. So guess what? You guys have it. The last part of the new ADA form is the ability under our providers. If you have a temporary dentist working in your office because of illness or injury of your doctor, they will become a locum tenant uh, provider. And under each provider, we can now show are they locum tenon? And that's where you would check that box so that that shows up on the ADA 2024 form. That's it. There are a couple other features with the integration of Perl and some other things that I can't show you. I don't have Perl on my, my demo computer, so I can't show you that, but uh, there is gonna be more integration there, uh, more stable features. There is a whole list if you go to the frequently asked question page of the uh, of Patterson Eaglesoft and do a deeper dive. But 24.20.03, uh, uh, 24 let me go to help and about Eaglesoft. And there you can see 24.20.03 is out. I've been using 24.20.02 
for the longest time, uh, at, testing it uh, for you guys. Uh, but now I can see that it's 24.20.03, uh, and that is the uh, available release. I just download, downloaded this uh, about 20 minutes ago, installed it, and obviously it took me about 20 minutes to install it, <laughs> get it all ready to go and be able to show you guys. So it doesn't take long for it to install, but you know, obviously, you know, how many computers you have, how fast your computers are, et cetera, et cetera. But here's 24.2 uh, and it's ready to rock and roll for you guys. And it's awesome. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> 